Hi, I'm David Peterson. I've illustrated an edition of Wind in the Willows, Kenneth Graham's classic tale. Uh, and to help me illustrate that, I did something that I do with a lot of Meyer projects. I built some physical models. Uh, today's model is of the Great Hall of Toad Hall. Uh, now, this is one of the first scenes that I imagined drawing when uh, I got the project. Um, it's the moment when Toad and Badger and Mole and Rat come pouring out of the butler's pantry um, into the Great Hall where the weasels who have taken over Toad Hall are having a feast and the quartet catches them by surprise. Um, it's one of the most illustrated scenes. Um, it's one of the most memorable scenes from the book and it was just it, I was picturing the tapestries and the and the dining table and the leaded glass windows and all four of the main characters um, and so this was one that I wanted to really get right now I had uh, I had looked at all of the different illustrators and at their editions and how they tackled this scene to kind of cherry pick details that I liked or maybe didn't like and wanted to include in mine. Um, Ernest Shepard, I thought, got the Great Hall really close to accurate of, of how I visualized it in my mind. And so um, I built a model very much based on his design, although I added some details of my own. Um, for my model, it's all made of chipboard, which is the same stuff that the back of uh, uh, sketch pads and Bristol board pads are made out of. Um, now, a lot of the design work here was done ahead of time in Photoshop making just rows of paneling, um, designing a, a leaded glass window that I was able to repeat over and over and then cut some of the height off of so that the outer windows were shorter than the middle two, um, making some, some, uh, some banners. Now, while it looks three-dimensional, that's all just printed on the surface. There's, there's nothing there. It's, it's just all printed on a, a sheet of paper. Um, for the floor, doing plank of, planks of wood, as well as um, finding a rug pattern that I liked and placing that on. Um, once I had all of those pieces printed, I was able to spray the, uh, the bare chipboard with adhesive, glue down my pieces, and then trim up to the lines, um, trim up to the paneling lines, trim up to the, the wooden plank lines, and then just start gluing together with hot melt glue. Um, a little bit of, of um, super glue, but mostly hot melt glue just for the support. Um, I used some basswood strips, which is the, basswood is a, a hobby wood that a lot of people use for dollhouse furniture and dollhouse trim. Um, I use that mainly just for structure, although in a few places I used it as an architectural detail and for some of the, uh, the brackets underneath. Now, I was working really hard when illustrating Wind in the Willows to not just replicate my favorite illustrator's versions of, of some of the illustrations. Um, and Ernest Shepard's, like I said, is one of the best versions of that scene. Um, and so I, having this model, was able to really look at and study in what way I could show the angles of how they're coming through this door. So this door was still important, but then enough of the room that you got a sense of scale, that you got a sense of the, the number of weasels. If they were only, if I was zoomed in tight and you only saw a couple of weasels kind of being knocked and scattered out of the way, that wouldn't give the same sense of scale. Um, and so I ended up finding that Shepard came up with a really accurate or uh, uh, well-illustrated version of trying to show all of those elements. Um, so mine is a, a kind of an unapologetic redo of, of Shepard's, um, but with my own taste and my own spin. But having the model helped me visualize that, helped me get all the details, and in a chaotic scene where you've got piles of weasels everywhere, it was nice to not have to do an underdrawing of all the geometry and perspective of uh, leaded glass windows and paneling and, and rugs and plank flooring and all of that kind of stuff. But this is the model of the dining hall, which is just skinned chipboard. So I hope you enjoyed the model, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy Wind in the Willows. Thanks for watching.